So I'm here in the Bado area. So to supply 5,000 finger lits to the farm here, which we have already arrived at the farm. So and then we have always put inside the pond. This is the pond we are stocking our fish. So as you can see, it is a very good water. And then you can see how transparent the water is. Because I discussed earlier with you guys, the water you're going to stock your fish must be a very neat one. So, so you can see everything inside the pond. So anything won't hide inside the pond. So that it won't affect your fish. So now I'm here. So to supply 5,000 fish and bacon. Yeah. Which I'll be discussing with you today about a good quality of seeds that you want to stock inside your pond. Because you shouldn't stock anyhow. Because at times when you stock your fish, after stocking, they start having more disease and then it might affect other fish in your farm. So that's why any seed you want to take, I mean fingernails or the juvenile you want to take or stock, you must take a quick look at them. So it will be very watchful so you won't have any issue in your farm. So and then if you take a close look at the fish, I'm, I'm stocking here now, so you should look at them very well. So starting from the barbells. So there are some barbells at the front of the amount, which are five. We have the maxillary barbell, is the longest one. So we have the mandibular barbell, we have the inner mandibular barbell, we have the outer mandibular barbell. So those barbells must be completed. So there shouldn't be any white substance at the front of the barbell. So if they have any white substance at the front of the barbell, it means they are having disease. So and then once they have disease, it means they are having fungus disease. And then fungus disease kill fish anyhow. So even if you have it in your farm, it may affect the other fish too. So that's why you should prevent your fish from having disease. That's number one. Then number two, look at the fins. Those are the long, long things at the back of your fish. They call them fins. One at the back is called dosa fin. We have the cordial fin. We have the ana fin. So, and then you should check the upper column too. So those things, as I take a close, um, close look at them, you will know if the fish is very good or the best fish for you to take or to stock. So anything that is affecting them, it means you should return the fish. It is not that good for your farm. So then the third thing you should look at, at times if you're having seed like this, so there are some white organs on their head. So if, if it's very small, it means because they are very small. That's why they're having, it's not a disease. But if it's bringing blood, so it means the fish is having disease. So you should stay away from that kind of fish. So that is something that I want us to look at. Then the next thing you should look when you're stopping your fish is when you're stopping your fish, you pick it like this. So when you pour it inside your pond, so they should swim well. They should stand in the place. As you're seeing them, they are swimming. So it means the fish are okay. So they will rush down. So, but if you are seeing your fish standing vertically, it means they are not okay. As you can see here, they are bouncing. It means the fish are healthy. So those fish are doing fine. So as you're seeing, and then they will be running towards the shadow area where you have darkness there. So because they, they don't like staying outside. So as you can see, they are running around. So they find where the, the shadow. In the next five minutes, you look at them, they'll hide at the shadow area here. So it shows those fish are active. So once you have seen any symptoms, like fungus, is always caused by bacteria. So once you have seen them in your fish, so you should stay away from that kind of fish because it may affect other fish in the farm too when the water touches each other. So we are stocking the fish now. So as you can see, see what I'm saying, telling you, they are now running towards the shadow area. So they are trying to hide themselves. It means the fish are very okay and then they are very smart. So that's the qualities you should see in a good fish when stopping them. So those things will make you know if the fish you are bringing to your farm are okay or they are not. So this is what I'll be teaching you today. And then next time, so we'll be talking more about the qualities of the water and the other things you should know about your fish farm. So let me just take you around the farm. So we have a fish here, fish here uh, more than two months here. So they have grown up. Can you see how active they are? It is also for the farm. So you can see we have about 2,000 plus here. So and we have them in other ponds too. Their yeah, performance is very good. So we have them here too. So these are feeding from So they are greater. And then we have the one we are using for production. They are blue stocks, we call them blue stocks. They are plain stocks here. They are very big. So, so we use them for production in the archery. You can see them. They are running away because they thought we want to catch for archery. You can see how big they are. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So, and then 
uh, press like on our YouTube channel and then you should also comment on our channel. Then you can ask any questions so we can answer you all of ability for you. And then if you need any kind of construction for your farm, any concrete pond or any tamponing pond or other things or fish, you so can transport it to your farm. So in anywhere in India on the country, we are available for you at Camp Farm in So thank you very much. Thank you for watching. So I love you.